Hello there. Today we'll be discussing the topic of value sensitive design, which we will call VSD for short. First of all, what is VSD? Well, it's the consideration of human values in design and development. That definition doesn't seem to tell us much, so let's utilize an example. Suppose you told a friend a secret. You trust them not to post it all over Facebook and Twitter. It's a private matter, and they know that before telling anyone, they should ask if you're okay with it. This situation highlights examples of human values, such as trust, privacy, and consent. So where is VSD present? Well, it's integrated into everything we interact with today. Web browsers, smartphones, and really anything we consider technology. It's an important thing to keep in mind, though, that VSD doesn't only apply to technology. In upcoming segments, we'll look at a couple of examples where VSD exists. We'll look at what values are important and who those values are important to in order to gain a better understanding of VSD. First, we'll be looking at value sensitive design in social media. We'll be focusing on the two biggest players in social media involving Twitter and Facebook. Direct stakeholders within Twitter and Facebook are people with accounts, so users, and companies involved in advertising on their applications. Indirect stakeholders are people without accounts, because sometimes pictures and videos are uploaded of you even if you do not own an account. Now we'll be talking about human values in social media. One of these human values is privacy, which is the right of an individual to determine what information about himself or herself can be communicated through online. One form of tracking is digital tracking, which is through cookies, histories, everything you do on the internet is and can be tracked, even sold to third parties for information. Physical tracking can be done using GPS, such as location services on the iPhone. So now we'll be talking about trying to delete an account on Facebook. If you do decide to delete your account, it's still considered active for 30 days. Also, posts in a group or sending messages to other persons' Facebook stays there forever. When people think they delete their account, everything is vanished, which is definitely not the case. When you delete an account, so much information remains that so many users do not consider. For example, when I type my name in Google, my Twitter, Facebook, pictures, soccer videos, and soccer profiles pop up. Clicking on my Twitter account, someone can see all of my pictures I've ever posted, all the tweets I've ever sent. The scariest thing that I found was my home address was posted on a soccer profile I had made back in the 6th grade. Privacy is a huge problem within social media and it's a human value that remains one of the top worries and will continue to be with future users. Next, we'll be talking about terms of service agreement. In the social media world, we are giving away our information such as photos, likes, family and friends, address, like everything about you. For example, if they sort your information, would you still want to use their services? Therefore, trust is a crucial value in social media. We would like to use terms of service as an example. There are simply rules which you must agree to in order to use a service. It's so important that if you click the accept button, everything from tracking your data, selling your personal info, storing your records in their private server, become not just your right, but also become their rights too. Even though it is so important, you won't even care to read it, or even you, you want to, it's too long and complicated. Some researchers estimated that it would take around 76 work days for the average reader to read through terms of service policies encountered each year. It is nearly impossible for users to read all of the terms and agree on it. So how do we solve this problem? Simple. Just shorten the terms of service that users can easily read. To solve this problem, there is a perfect website called Terms of Service Didn't Read. For example, Google keeps your search history forever and ever and use them for their other existing and future services. Deleting your search history on browser not going to work. With this, super easy to know what is inside the terms of service and don't accept it. VSD can be applied to non-technological aspects of human life such as architecture, government policies, and the retail scene. For example, let's begin with VSD analysis on a grocery chain Safeway. The direct stakeholders for Safeway are their shoppers and employees. Shoppers are affected because they undergo the Safeway experience. The employees are responsible for the running of Safeway. Indirect stakeholders like investors are affected by Safeway's performance. As a new Safeway opens within the community, an open space is taken, and there will be an increase in neighborhood traffic. As shoppers go inside Safeway, they are treated with mutual respect around the store. 
For example, if you went to the vegetable section, you will notice the sound of thunder alerting you before the water sprinklers are on. This demonstrates the non-technological aspects of VSD. The club card is something Safeway implements that affects the customer's value of privacy. To use the club card, you provide your address, phone numbers, and other personal details, which then signs you up for automatic newsletters. The card tracks your purchases, habits, and provides various benefits as a trade-off. To access card features, you use the Safeway website and their mobile app, which tracks your usage to create personalized ads. Getting a Safeway card is free. If you are a Safeway card member, you are a favorite member of the Safeway community. You get members only discounts, one free delivery, targeted coupons just for you, and redeemable gas points for gas. On the other hand, non-club members don't get any of these benefits. They have to pay a higher price and more paperwork when doing delivery. Look at the savings! You can notice you save one cent for each water balloon you buy. If you are not a club member and bought 100 water balloons, you lose a dollar. Is this one dollar worth it to give up your privacy and personal details to become a member? Well, is there any reason why you don't want to be tracked? So this happened to me when I was Safeway. Oh, I found the lemons for a dollar! But wait, the lemons are on sale for 50 cents each. Oh well, I'll get the limes this time even though I want lemons. So I get the limes with my club card and Safeway labels me as a lime buyer. Then based on my personalized coupons, I have a coupon for limes that makes them 25 cents each. This makes it cheaper for me to buy limes than lemons forever if I keep buying limes. Our example showed VSD to be an important concept that relates to just about everything in our daily lives, and we hope you now have enough of an understanding to apply VSD to your daily lives.